Why are we here? What is the meaning of life? Is light a wave or a particle? This is my newest case, and it's gonna be a big one. I need to find out whether light is a wave or a particle. Now to do this, I've employed the help of four of my smartest scientist friends. Gumi, Liz, Josh, and Sam. It's gonna be a big case, guys, and we need all the help we can get. All right, guys, so what's our first course of action? Well, we need to figure out how waves and particles move. That way, we can figure out exactly what ice is based on its movement. All right, but I'm gonna need all the facts. Wait, where's Josh? Sorry, I'm late. I was just so busy setting up an experiment that I forgot they were supposed to be meeting. Way to go. All right, guys, let's go. Wait, guys, before we can do the experiment, we first need to explain some things. That's right like interference patterns. Now there's two types of interference, constructive and destructive. Now for constructive, when two of the same, same sign and amplitude wave come together, they make an even bigger wave. All right, so let me guess about destructive. All right. Okay, so if you have two waves of opposite sign and amplitude like so, judging from my superior intellect, I am guessing that your interference would look something like a straight line. That's right. To understand how waves work, we are going to look at the easiest to view wave, the water wave. In our setup, waves are being made and travel through the slit. If our setup contains two slits, then an interference pattern appears. How is this helpful? As it turns out, photons act in a similar way. Wait guys, according to this book, one of the most famous modern physics experiments is called Young's Double Slit Experiment. In it, Dr. Thomas Young sent light through the slits to determine the movement of the light. When you send light through one slit, the photons make a bright band of light on the board. However, when you send it through two slits, the interference pattern appears similar to waves. Wait, how can that happen? Are the photons bouncing off each other and causing the constructive and destructive interference patterns? Hmm, I don't know. Let's try a different experiment. This time we'll send photons through the slits one at a time. Yeah, that way they can't bounce off each other. So now we just have two bright bands because they won't be interfering with anything. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's go. All right, and here's our experimental setup. We have our double slits and our photons. This is so strange. How did this interference pattern occur? What were they interfering with? They were going through one at a time. Hmm, this is strange, detective. I say that we watch even one of the slits to see which photon goes through. It's up to you to watch them, detective. I can do it. pattern is back when I wasn't watching. They're acting like waves again. But why do my measurements matter? Well, each photon has a probability of landing somewhere on the board. They will go to a place at random. Now, but they will go to a place of higher probability, whereas this spot has low probability. This probability is called a wave function. However, when we watch which slit it goes through, the wave function collapses. That means when we observe the photon, all the other probabilities of where the photon can be disappear because we are only measuring one possible place it can be. Therefore, we can never predict the behavior of a single particle. Whoa, so light acts like a wave, right? But it can't act like a wave because I just got off a previous case called the photoelectric effect and light 
is a particle. But it has to be a wave for our experiment. Do particles have uh, interference patterns? What we do the experiment with something we know is a particle, like an electron. I like your thinking. All right, gang, let's do it. If electrons are fired through a double slit while being observed, they form two distinct lines. But if they are fired through a double slit and are not observed, they create an interference pattern. Now, detective, I have realized through my data collection and my calculations that y equals the wavelength times L over D. As you can see, D would be the distance between your first slit and your second slit, whereas L would be the distance between your two double slits and your board where the photons land. When measuring from the middle of one light band to another light band, you get the result of Y as calculated earlier. You can see this when measuring from the middle of one dark band to another dark band too. So light acts like a wave and a particle? What is this? I don't even... Everything has a wave function. Particles, photons, even people. According to scientists, light acts like a wave in some situations, but a particle in others. They made up a fancy name for what photons are. It's called fields. Fields. Not that kind of field. So light's neither a wave or a particle? Well, it seems to me that light has properties of both waves and particles. Problem solved. We get paid for this, right? I think so. I hope so.